After a tumultuous week of public and private meetings among lawmakers, Governor Chris Christie came through on his promise to line-item veto his way through the budget. The Democratic-controlled legislature now has to look through the document to see which of their priorities is worth a fight. Some Democrats say they were simply disappointed with the governor's role in the process. He drew a line in the sand and said, if you don't have my income tax cut in there, then I'm not going to negotiate. And I think that that was really an abdication of leadership. I think the people of this state uh, deserve and they count on us to come together and build consensus around the issues that aren't easy to solve. That's absolutely not true. It's a nice soundbite, but it's not true. There was a great deal of dialogue, not only between um, the leaders and the governor's office and the governor himself, um, but we had ongoing dialogue with members of staff over the last four months plus. So, uh, frankly, there's been lots of interaction. With all of this supposed interaction, you may be asking yourself what all the fuss was about. Even under the Christie plan, tax cuts weren't going to happen until April of next year anyway. The Democrats insist they're being prudent by making sure that the money's actually there to pay for a tax cut. They've even put it aside as part of a special surplus. So why is the governor insisting on seeing it right now? What the legislature has now done is undermined um, certainty. Um, and when you have uncertainty, it's more difficult for investors, taxpayers, business owners to, to uh, make economic decisions, make investment decisions. And that, I think, hurts our competitiveness. New Jersey needs tax relief now, not some sort of contingent promise uh, in, in, in the future. From the looks of it, the governor is ready for this game to go into extra innings. With the conditional veto of the millionaire's tax, Christie could force the legislature to come back for a special session to consider his tax cut plan again. Christie says he's ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Democrats for the hearts and minds of New Jersey voters. I'll tell you what for sure I'm going to be doing over the summer. It is going to be the Corzine Democrats holding your tax cut hostage tour. The governor is betting that voters' desire for a tax cut will outweigh their desire to actually know how it's going to be paid for. And if he spends the summer bashing Democrats as tax-craving junkies, Democrats might have to hope that the state's economy remains sluggish enough to prove their point. In Trenton, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.